hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be turning our basic bodies to a cupped bustier so if you want to learn this stay tuned so i'm beginning with my basic bodies block i already have a video on this on how to make this so if you don't know how to make this i have a video for you to check out so now on the center of our front our center front on our bust line i'm going to be taking 0.25 inches on both sides and i'll be connecting that to my bust point so once i've done that you're going to be measuring your shoulder to your bust point you're going to divide it by four and then you're going to be marking that point like i did now you're going to be squaring that out as well so now you're also going to be extending your nip to nipple line and on that point there you're going to be taking 0.25 inches on both sides as well and you'll be connecting that to the apex point once done with that on our shoulder line on our shoulder slant i'm actually going to be taking 0.75 inches out and with my pattern master i'll be redrawing my armhole i just took out a little bit and i'm cutting out the excess right now once that is done i'm also going to be marking the how many inches i want for my soldier strap so you need to go for two inches or a little bit above that i'll be connecting that to the first that line your the first shoulder that line and now we're going to be slashing that up because we are we want to be closing our we want to close our boss that's right now so please in case you haven't noticed i'm using a small scale pattern so please when using this these are actual measurements i'm using a small small scale pattern so it can be more visible for you so yes this is use your actual measurements when you're actually doing this please so now after that i'm going to be going in by around one inch from my bust line at my side and I'll be using my pen to make a curve a cup curve just slightly doing that nothing serious you're still going to use your pattern master to outline everything so your center front I went in by 0.5 inches I made a line as a guide and also I'll also be making the second part of my curve to connect with that so like i said you use your pattern master later on when my pattern master i'm just outlining those lines i already made once that is done this is how it's supposed to be looking and now i'm just going to be cutting out i'm going to be separating my cup section of my pattern from my down section So now with this section here, I'm going to be closing my waist that. So now let's move on back to our cup. So now with the cup, I'm going to be using this opportunity to close all my darts. I'm starting with my shoulder that I'm going to be closing it and taping it up. And once I'm done with that, I'll also be slashing the that we made at the center front there, and we'll also be closing that up as well. And same thing for the underboss that as well. You need to close this all up. There is a reason for that because you actually redraw your main cup outline later on. Once you're done taping, this is how your top pattern and your bottom pattern is supposed to be looking. So this is how everything is supposed to be looking. So now next stop, we're going to actually be drawing in, drawing our actual neckline. So now placing our cup together, we are, I'm indicating who where our center front mark is. And then from there, I'll be drawing the style line of how I want the neck to be. 
so now you can see how i'm doing it with my marker i'm just drawing the style line you can draw any style line of your choice so i actually stopped at a particular point because i'm going to later shape out the strap so just watch how i'm cutting it i'm cutting my style line like i said you can do any one of your choice and then i am now slanting my curve and making sure not to remove every anything from my existing strap just shaping the strap better so this is how it's supposed to be looking now we are going to also be removing 0.25 inches from the shoulder slant this is going to help us have a more secure hold and then that's it for your front we are still going to get back to this but for now let's move on to the back pattern So now on your back pattern, like we did for the front, I'm taking 0.75 inches. On my pattern master, I'm connecting it and redrawing my armhole. I'll be cutting out that excess. And then remember for the front, I just placed my front shoulder, my shoulder slant, so I can get the exact shoulder width we are using. And now with that you can like i said you can draw any style neckline i just need a straight back a straight strap for the back nothing serious if you want yours to be curved or whatsoever you can do it it's up to you so once that's done i'm just cutting out what we don't need from the back pattern And then I'll be going ahead to remove 0.25 inches from the shoulder slant like we did for the front as well. So now once that is done, I'm now going to be taking, I'm now going to be closing our back darts. If you want to make your back dart be two pieces, you can leave it like this, but I want mine together so I'm just taping it up. So now this is it for the back we're going to keep that aside and go back to the front pattern so now for our cup we're now going to be making our cup style lines if you haven't seen the video i made on different cup style lines then you need to check that out i mean keep, keep the link in the of the that video in the description box please check that out so i'm drawing out the style line i want at this point you can draw any style line of your choice just make sure that all of them meet at the nipple point so then i drew that out and i cut it please whenever you cut this remember to label because sometimes it can get confusing as you can see here, i was trying to figure it out but thank god i figured it out in time and then i made sure to label it So now to achieve smoother patterns for our cup, I'm just placing them on fresh pattern papers and I retraced everything and taped it back together. So it's all taped here. So now to make sure that our two pieces match, I'm placing my lower pattern on a fresh piece of paper because we want to make sure that our cup is aligning well with our bodies. So now I'm placing my cup and as you can see, they are not matching together they are not matching together at all so what you need to do is you need to align your cup to your corset or let's like say the bridge point and then you redraw your cup you redraw your cup just your cup you redraw your cup and once you take that out you then pivot pivot your lower pattern to match with where the cup is so you can see how i'm just tilting it a bit and then it will then match with where the cup actually sits so if you don't understand please watch this part again it's very very crucial so now i'm just marking as well my side points my side seam 
so it will match with our back pattern as well you can see it's matching here and i already joined it together and you can see how our cup fits perfectly now this is just the magic of everything if you don't do this you're going to be having errors so please make sure to do this so now i'm just folding it to make sure everything comes out clean and i'll be cutting out my pattern piece this is my front pattern piece finally completed i really really enjoy using this pattern a lot it gives a very very wonderful fit you can see how everything is matching seamlessly i hope you try this out and if you do please 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 tell me and give me a feedback on how you liked it so guys this is it if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye love you and kindly make sure to check out all my other videos